here from Jawaru, south of Peninsula Malaysia, next to Singapore. I'm going to demonstrate to you the powerful use of fitness testing um, framework. And um, for Ydempier, there are some already um, set up where you edit your test um, getters and setters like a uh, wiki and do um, all kind of operations um, dynamically without needing to write any unit tests. These are um, abstracted um, unit testing uh, framework where you just set whatever tables that you want to test and it will do the rest. And I've done so for the warehouse management system. Previously, as you see in the warehouse management system, uh, I allowed the use of um, Ninja let me get to the ninja and it is kind of a uh, very troublesome oh I don't have the ninja set up uh, just to show you and you can refer to the previous uh, tutorial videos that I have to run the ninja and import in um, my test data however I need not uh, do that anymore I can just um, I copy paste and set up. It took me quite a while to have all these test data like handling units, um, type of uh, warehouse um, mm, storage and product type um, control for locators in the warehouse like hazardous, fragile, fast moving, slow moving, expired, rejected, high, low, liquid and so forth. It can be all created and then <clears throat> You can have them save. Let me see at the uh, setup warehouse. I then run processes, generate four R for beans and two levels of um, locators with associated empty storage with uh, capacity vacant of fifty. Then dynamically pull out a reference ID, type ID to be used in the process to set types for category, warehouse, and a certain location and then commit it and this will be in the system. So to show that it's really committed, we go to a blank um, ERP of item beer and you see that this is really blank with no such data in it and after running this test, the data magically appears. So um, you stand by to run this test now. You can run it as a suit. You run all these two. This is a uh, reference because we are logging in, so we are reusing this. All right. So all this will be done in take probably about 30, 40 seconds to uh, one minute. And um, you can run it as an individual test, but here I'm going to run it as a suit. So let me check if the login is there. You will see that, um, uh, for example, uh, the locators will have nothing in it. Just have the blank warehouse system. You see that there is um, no uh, no locator being done, and no gate for the um, <coughs> HQ. See, there's no gate, there's only one locator, and so running this will then magically, and you see how fast it will run. If you check your log, sorry, I did not start the uh, fitness um, plugin, so you, you can start it manually. Uh, these are the fitness um, plugin, then fixture. Now it's run, let's run it again. So it's running, you can see it will give you a test summary. It's running the two tests actually, but the one is the login. It's run in 6.2 seconds. The handling unit gates are in. So you can check it out. Handling unit. Why it's running the test? Um, uh, oh, it's not committed yet, so I won't see anything there. Is committed at the end, remember? So, if you check the prom, 
you see that locators are being generated automatically now it's the empty storage and you can see that green means everything works fine yeah so it's been committed and now you can go in refresh you see everything is in and when you refresh this or look at this in we have three gates created is um, stimulated in the test and now actual testing um, after this we get to front page I have an actual warehouse process such as uh, purchase to put away okay I'm not committing it here because I'm to run everything and I have assigned reassigning of handling units this should return zero because things are being processed in the uh, previous routine and then a complete sales picking process and then I last commit it and I can examine the results in my item PM so let's start it Let's see if you can run okay it's running um, okay this transaction close uh, issue means I have to actually restart this is kind of hassle I have to restart my item PR um, server the fitness is already running as you can see here the fitness is already running right. so <clears throat> get to your 089 uh, while it's coming back up let me describe exactly what the test is going to do the test is going to find out get one's uh, ID to be passed to here as a reference when you're running a process to create a delivery schedule we are going to read the info window of orders to delivery schedule which is uh, this oops still waiting for it to run is the order to delivery schedule and this will be done automatically here and then after that it will read again the delivery schedule to find out its ID uh, where it was the gate one now it's coming up let's activate the Well, you get the idea of how powerful this can be and if I continue um, then it will uh, complete the document of the reschedule so they all become received into the um, warehouse uh, the, the gates and then from the schedule we're going to put away picking we set the sales transaction to no means it's uh, inbound it's a purchase um, and then we um, create the uh, put away list which is part of the info window process um, a same line which means that we will not open the container of units and use a handling unit that is available which is derived from here okay from its um, uh, dynamically who was handling unit one and so on um, read uh, the inbound uh, record ID and then process it which will create um, a material uh, a receipt uh, shipment and handling units is uh, a redundant process to test it uh, you can activate it back if you stop uh, part of the previous uh, put away process it can reassign handling units but in this case um, anyway we proceed the picking process will uh, assign uh, the picking to go to gate 2 uh, take the sales so transaction is yes and then run the process and um, read the uh, gate to process just ran get its ID uh, complete it so that it's considered received for gates uh, is outbound and this will be a picking process and you create the picking list and no same line means you can take uh, units you can break up the container in the locators and then when we commit it we will examine two results so let's get back here and run it so, um, as you can see, all the steps I described, every time you make a change in software, you have to really do a lot of um, manual work, okay? You, you, every time you do a change in software, you have to get into the software, and you have to do, do all this uh, testing that I'm, I'm, I'm going to show now. Let me put it back. So, now it is doing this testing. For you 
here is everything is done in 33 seconds you can see and finally it's committed successful picking is good okay no release of units I'll check that but uh, this meant to reassign handling units but if they are confirmed you can't really take out the uh, handling units the pallet or the drums so this is attached for uh, forklift and things like that but um, the point here is to show that testing can really work uh, very powerfully so it was a uh, 50 seconds plus 33 seconds and that will be about 88 seconds and the previous run of 33 seconds purchase to put away and oh yeah everything is run so it's only 88 seconds so the results you can see here so only 88 seconds so less than the one and a half minutes so to speak so you can see that results come out beautiful right? so you can then examine your data to see that if everything is really accordingly and <clears throat> so like I said again every time you change some code in one and a half minute you can very quickly check out the results of your test and not waste time mandling in a lot of um, uh, steps and human steps and people get lazy and testing is not accurate so here you are you can refer to my link in the YouTube for more information of previous videos and how actually the warehouse management works by then uh, have a nice day bye bye